Hi there guys, how's it going? So today I wanted to show you how to set up a little lift. We'll do multiple floors. Send that down to the ground floor. Look, and we're on the top. I'll be able to call this up. Go in and we'll go to our middle floor. We can go out. We can go back in. Go to our ground floor. And we're down to the ground floor. Like I say, we can send this back up to the middle floor if we really wanted. Top floor even. So yeah, it's at the top floor. Call it to the middle floor using the middle floor call button. Ground floor. And it can go straight up. Can't reach the button. But it can also go straight up to the top floor. And also come down to the ground floor. Now all I'm doing here is running this off of two controllers. It's not as mad as it sounds. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to set it up. Up over here I've literally just got a setup where it's a couple of pistons attached to the roof. And I've got a block and then another set of pistons. So this is like two pistons kind of full extents if you like. If that's what you want to be. And then the most confusing bit is the logic. But it's not that confusing. It's quite simple. You can do this with seven logic gates and two controllers. Uh, and I'll just show you how. So we'll set up our first one. And I'll kind of do it spaced out so you guys can see a bit. And it's just a simple loop. So it's a nor or nor loop. You guys might know this if you look at the basic memory bit. So it's a nor nor or loop. What we're going to do is use this to set and reset our controller. So we're going to need controller number one. This, weirdly enough, will be our middle floor. Then we also need an AND gate here. The reason we need an AND gate is because we're going to have a multiple button input. So we need to know, hey, when we do this AND this, what won't happen. So this is our AND gate. This is our second control here. So how does this work? Okay, so for the most part, set up our loop, go to our controller, go to our AND gate. Obviously from that AND gate we go to the controller. But that will only do us sort of the middle floor, so we need to set up another loop. And again, same thing, another NOR NOR OR loop. So we've got our OR, NOR and NOR. So it is a nor or and nor loop and set those bad boys up and we want that to go into that okay so here's what we've got to do one controller to each kind of set pistons if you like awesome stuff and then obviously we're going to need push buttons I'm going to need one for top floor, middle floor, and ground floor. And that is easily set up just like this. So now we're going to set up the push buttons, okay? And where I connect these push buttons, you will connect your call button for the elevator, so the one that is on the outside of the ground floor. And you will also set up the one on the inside. It's the exact same connection, and it does the exact same job. So what we're looking at here is, for our top floor, we go to this NOR gate. And we also go to this NOR gate. For our middle floor, we go to this NOR gate. And we also go to this same NOR gate. And for our ground floor, this floor gate, NOR gate, and this NOR gate. So what happens here is top floor controller is off so all pistons are set to zero it goes up middle floor see this bit middle floor activates so it only activates this set so this is where our middle floor will be so if we put it at seven you see that the lift drops down to seven so if we go to ground floor it resets the bit puts the lift back up middle floor does do this sometimes. Just simply click the button again, you're fine. Middle floor activates this controller only. And ground floor will activate this controller set and this controller set, which means this gets activated. So it activates both controllers. So it'll activate this controller and this controller. 
So we come down to our ground floor. See where we get to. A bit further still. Boom. So you get that? So middle floor. Our middle floor button resets this set of bits, but activates this set of bits. So our middle floor is always going to be controlled off of this controller. Our top floor is always zero. So we have the top floor button resets both sets of bits so that no controller have activated. And ground floor activates both sets of bits, bringing us down to the ground. It's really that simple. And like I said, if you want to set up the buttons on the inside of the elevator, you just put them in the same place. So if I come in here and I go top floor, middle floor, ground floor, it's really easy again. So remember, it's top floor, middle floor, ground floor. So my ground floor button goes to here and to here. So I'll take my ground floor button on the inside, and go to this nor, and ground floor button goes to this nor. So now if I go in, and I'm not going to be able to push the button. So we'll set up the top floor, and our top floor goes to this one. And this one. So now I show you if I can squeeze in here, press the top floor button. I'm at the top floor, bottom floor button at the bottom floor. And these are the call buttons on the outside of the wall. So hey, I'm at the top floor, push the top floor button, up we go. I'm at the bottom floor, bottom floor button, down we go, middle floor, middle floor button, down we go. So connect your buttons up in the exact same space. So all you basically do is you can run it off an OR gate if you really want to, but this is the basics that I've worked out that all you need. And there you go, that's a lift that will obviously go to whatever floors you want. If you want more floors, all you have to do is just kind of repeat this system. So again, it'll be another set of controller bits, another controller, another AND gate. And obviously the more floors you have, in order to have your top floor, you're going to have to reset all of the bits. And in order to have your bottom floor, you're going to have to have it all connected up and AND gate so that all the controllers are activated. If that makes any sense, good. If it doesn't, just let me know and I'll try and replicate again. But this is basically it. It's a really simple multiple floor elevator. Once you understand this concept here in front of us, you should be able to duplicate it for as many floors as you require. I hope that helps you guys. It wasn't as difficult to work out as I thought it would be. There might be easier ways to do it. If there is, let me know in the comments how you guys are doing it. But Thanks for watching and enjoy your elevators. Peace.